People commit sin every day. Allah says, I will forgive them every single day. People commit sin every night. Allah says, I will forgive them every single night. Subhanallah. For as long as they seek that forgiveness. So don't lose hope in the mercy of Allah. One of the traps of the devil is he makes you become haunted by your past where people suffer OCD as a result. They depress, they cannot eat, they cannot drink because of something they did when they were 20 years old. Perhaps you may have lost your virginity. May Allah protect us. So many young girls actually uh, message saying, you know what, I, 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 I unfortunately fell, I committed this and did that and now I don't know what. Don't become depressed. Forgiveness is for you too. Allah will forgive you, subhanallah. Uh, and Allah will definitely open your doors and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, His doors are definitely open. It does not mean you are doomed. It does not mean that, you know, you need to be, uh, to be whipped, etc. All that you need to just seek the forgiveness of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Remember this. You need to seek the forgiveness of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. You're living in conditions that are trying, that are very testing. There is a lot of pressure to do a lot. Look at the people who are on drugs. Look at the people in the gambling casinos. Look at the people who are gambling away their, their earnings and their livings. Look at the people who are drinking alcohol and intoxicating themselves. You know, the degree of intoxication is such that it's unimaginable. But you know what? Allah says, my doors are open. My doors are wide open. I will forgive. I will keep on forgiving. I will continue to forgive. But never think that I'm not forgiving. That's not one of the names of Allah. Allah's name does not include he who doesn't forgive. He who punishes. You know, meaning he who is going to punish you and that's it. No. In fact, it's the other way around. Allah chooses for himself. Bismillah, ar-Rahman, ar-Rahim. In the name of Allah, the most kind, the most forgiving, the most merciful, the most beneficent. Like we say, the one whose mercy encompasses everything and he has a specialized mercy for those who believe. So don't let your past haunt you. You need to smile at the fact that you have a Lord who is absolutely merciful. Your past is your past. That's exactly what it is. It's not your present. It's not going to be your future. So if there is a bad habit or something you did in the past, it's gone. It's over. Allah's not going to punish you now that you sought forgiveness. When you seek forgiveness once, that was enough. We repeat it. We say it again and again and again. The first time was enough. It wiped your sin out. The second time it elevates your status. It's not like that sin still exists. The messenger, peace be upon him, says the one who seeks forgiveness from a sin is equivalent to the one who never ever committed that sin before. So please, my brothers, my sisters, don't lose hope in the mercy of Allah. No matter what you've done, you are still the beloved servant slave of Allah, the beloved creature of Allah. He loves you. He made you. He's waiting for you. He actually does not want you to lose hope in his mercy. So remember this, my brothers and sisters the trap of the devil is when you have sought forgiveness he comes back to you and makes you doubt the mercy of Allah which is a bigger sin than whatever you've committed in the past because you haven't even recognized Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant us ease and open our doors